All right, welcome back to the Roadside Rescue YouTube channel. Here we are with my wife's car. If you haven't seen it, check it out. I bought it when it was crashed and fixed it up for my wife. It's been running great for a couple years. Oh, that reminds me, I need to fix this squeaking belt. I drive it like once a week maybe, so then I hear the belt squeaking. I'm like, oh shoot, gotta fix that. Um, we're gonna replace the cabin filter and the blower motor. The blower motor is just real weak. Um, again, I mentioned in another video when I was bringing this up that it's not the resistor. Uh, it is working on every speed. It's just not quite blowing as hard as it should be, so we're gonna replace that blower motor. Again, that could be a couple other things, but we can test for the resistor when we get down there. We've gotta get down there first anyways. The cabin filter is like the bad design in these Hondas. It's right here. So I've gotta remove this bar right there. I mean, I guess that's the only thing that made sense to them, but doesn't make sense to me. We'll replace that and uh, the blower motor, like I just mentioned five times. And it's hot outside. It's like 98 right now. And I'm at the point in the afternoon where it's a little bit too hard to think quite clearly. So hopefully get this done quickly and just be done for the day. Shouldn't be too hard. Somebody's honking their horn. That makes no sense. Uh, oh, that's what I was gonna say, man. These tools are so hot. They've been sitting in the sun for like 10 minutes and they're too hot to even grab. Not this one. But the uh, chrome tools, the socket would be. Nice, just put those in the corner over there. Let's get that out of the way, make this easier. You can do it with that in the way, I think, but no sense in doing that. There's no reach in that one there. We're gonna have to use a wrench. Unless I can just pop this out of here. Let's get it out of the way. Let's see if I can do that. Um, Phillips screwdriver. That's gonna be in the way with the Phillips. All right, we'll check back in two seconds. I'm gonna grab a screwdriver and a small wrench. their horn that makes no sense uh oh that's what i was gonna say man these tools are so hot they've been sitting in the sun for like 10 minutes and they're too hot to even grab not this one but the uh chrome tools the socket would be nice just put those in the corner over there that out of the way make this easier you can do it with that in the way i think but no sense in doing that oh, there's no reach in that one there we're gonna have to use a wrench unless i can just pop this out of here let's get it out of the way let's see if i can do that um phillips screwdriver that's gonna be in the way with the phillips all right We'll check back in two seconds. I'm gonna grab a screwdriver and a small wrench. All right, one Phillips screw and one uh, screw clip later. Actually, that screw clip I was about to mention isn't needed. It's above this. So one Phillips screw and pull it out later. That's out of the way. And what do we have here? This, we'll remove this. I think it just has to be removed on one side. No, that doesn't make sense. Is it screwed in on multiple sides? With multiple screws, I mean, not just one. If there was just one bolt holding it over there, you could just loosen it. And this would fold out of the way, just flop out of the way, but that's not going to be the case here. Okay, and then there's just a couple of bolts over here. I think it doesn't make any sense to remove this plastic. I'm going to try and do it without removing that plastic. Tight little gap to put my fingers in there to screw it right there let's see what I can do maybe not much maybe after all this all this for an air filter well of course if there's a screw going into that bracket that one was gonna have to come out gave me a little bit of room to pry this back and reach in there with my fingers anyways and loosen those up just by putting my hand over the top there so there's a trick for you and this should come out just like so you're gonna see this air filter for the first time just like me Let's see the damage. I believe you only have to pull it off on the bottom, but a little bit of dust so far. Ooh, that does not look good. <laughs> well, yeah, there's some leaves and it's pretty dark. 
not quite as bad as I was expecting. Being vertical helps a little. We cleaned that out though. That may be what wore out that blower motor too. Having leaps and junk in there, but a new filter will serve us very well, especially for airflow because if you can't tell, this is pretty much jam packed full in every fin there. So that should help. In fact, there may be a little bit of oversight on my part there. Yeah, I have no idea why I didn't think about it, but that could be just the only issue causing restricted airflow. So what I'm gonna do is just pop the filter back in and test it out for a couple days or five minutes or whatever it takes to figure that out. The blower motor isn't hard to replace, just right there. Just right here. It, uh, I believe it even just screws out. Oh, there's a screw, I could be wrong about that. There's some uh, blower motors, all you have to do is just twist them counterclockwise clockwise and pull them out, but um, yeah. I may just unplug, I may, what I'll probably do actually is just run this one, then unplug it, plug the new one in and just compare the speeds. I wish there was like an aftermarket company that made like super blower motors, but uh, probably not. Okay, slap this filter back in and uh, we'll clean it out first from all those leaves. And there she blows. Sorry wife. Where are all those leaves hiding? Look at this. They're still coming. Well, I don't know why I thought I could get all those without compressed air. So that was a ton. Okay, well, hopefully she forgives me for making her air conditioner a little bit cooler out here in the summer. <laughs> Probably not though. <laughs> I'm gonna be the one cleaning this up, I think. And that's what a new air filter is supposed to look like. <laughs> just kidding. That's why I showed you those arrows. <laughs> okay. Um, sweet, put this back together. Got the job all done. Wow, that's pulling way stronger, and that just made me realize that's the best way to clean out the air filter housing area. Just turn the blower motor on. Well, that is definitely not a blower motor issue now. Whew, wee. I think it was blowing but with dirt right into my eyes. <sighs> Clogged up this new filter again. All right, let's clean this out and be done with this. Okay, well, that's pretty much a job all done. I've got a lot of junk to clean up now. I'm tired and thirsty and it's hot, but uh, not together well. No complaints. I don't think we have a blower motor issue after all. I don't know why the idea didn't occur to me. Hey, probably got a clogged filter because I knew it was bad. I just didn't think clogged bad. Never occurred to me. I don't know, sometimes you just don't think of things. So I pulled it out and that's fine because I go to AutoZone 50 times a day and I'll just return it tomorrow. Didn't even open it. So yeah, plug this back up and be done. Thanks for watching. Consider subscribing and leaving a positive comment and especially donating the links in the description if you want to buy me a cold drink, help me take my wife to dinner. If you appreciate these videos, I'll keep them coming. See you on the next episode.